Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Lena and it's been a hot minute since I filmed a video. I posted a video um, last week and that was pre-filmed about a month ago. So <laughs> bear with me with this video because I'm getting back into the groove and kind of figuring things out again. So <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a little bit all over the place. Yeah, just bear with me. <laughs> and so this video is um, an interview makeup tutorial, as you would know by the title. Um, I have an interview later today, so I figured that I would film the makeup I was doing for it for anybody else that has interviews or, you know, is interested. So, if you want to see how to get this makeup look, then keep watching. And I'm also going to do a couple, like, tips for interviews after the tutorial. So, if you want to see those, then stick around after the tutorial. <laughs> okay, you guys, um, yeah, we're just gonna get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by priming my skin with the Smashbox Primerizer. Um, this is like the mini one, obviously, it's so small. And then lately, I've been putting the um, Organic Wear Bright Booster Oil from Physicians Formula underneath my eyes and actually into my brows to prep for concealer and doing my brows. So I kind of just like put that underneath my eyes a tiny bit. I just use one drop and I put it into my hand and then I take my finger and I like put it into my brows. While the oil soaks into my under eyes a little bit, I'm gonna use some sunscreen. I'm running some errands today before I have my interview and so I don't know I just like using sunscreen I just picked up the pharmacy green screen I'm gonna put that on my skin and then lately I've been doing um, like lighter coverage so I'm going to color correct I'm gonna use my naked skin shapeshifter palette from Urban Decay and I'm gonna use the so I'm gonna use this light pink shade on my dark spots so like in my inner corners and um, like around my mouth a bit because I get it a little bit dark here. And I'm trying not to use too much. I just want a really light layer just to color correct, not to like cover up my sins, you know what I mean? And then I'm gonna use a small amount of my L'Oreal Pro Glow, but it's just gonna even out my skin tone like just enough. And then I've been using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is the shade C2. And this stuff is like really thin and spreads a lot. So I just put like two little dots where I need it. So like underneath my eyes, underneath my nose. One on the top of my nose because my nose is like really red all the time. And then uh, where I get dark around my mouth. Like I think I just have veins here or something. but. It's like always a little bit blue. I'm just lightly tapping that in. And I'm working from where I need the least coverage to the most coverage so that it has a little bit of time to dry underneath my... Sorry, I'm like sitting crooked. Um, so it has time to dry underneath my eyes and it will be a little bit less spreadable and it'll give just a little bit more coverage. Next, I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer Stick. This is in Baked. I'm going to put it on my hands like this, on my fingers, and then tap it in. I'm putting a little bit on my forehead, and then just blending that into my hairline. And I'm not using this to contour anything like underneath my cheekbone, I'm actually putting it onto my cheekbone so it looks like I'm sun-kissed. I'm gonna put a little bit on my jaw and down my neck. It smells kinda like Crayola. Okay, and then I'm going to do the next steps, just a teensy bit out of order, but like I'll explain why as I go. So next I'm going to take my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm not going to lift it up because it, it shattered and it's going to fall everywhere. Um, but yeah, I'm going <laughs> to use that to, oh, it's getting all over me, but it's too good to throw away and I want to use it up. So anyway, I'm going to shake off my brush because so powdery now that it's shattered and I'm gonna use this to set that bronzer I'm also gonna run this over the fridge of my nose and down my chin my neck 
And then I'm gonna take the highlighter from my Naked Skin Shapeshifter palette, the uh, powder highlighter. I've been really liking this highlighter specifically because it's such a nice neutral color. Like it really just kind of looks like a natural sheen on the skin and it's not too pigmented where it causes like a stripe on your skin. It's pretty translucent but still has that like shimmery quality, if that makes any sense. I don't like highlighters that are too pigmented and it's like a stripe of white on my skin. Anyway, so I'm taking the ColourPop F5 brush and I'm just kind of going to start by tapping that onto the high points and then I'll go through and like do circular motions like this to blend it. And I am gonna bring this just a tiny bit onto the, um, like down the apples on my cheeks like this, just to bring a little bit of focus there. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose, above my eyebrows, Okay, and then I'm going to um, mix my Glossier pa pal paints. Cloud Paints in Dusk and Puff. Um, I've explained in a previous video, I think it was my like how to bold lip. I'll leave it, is it here or is it, whatever. It's in one of the corners, I'll link it, but I explained why I do it this way. Um, why would I link it when I can just explain again? Because you should watch the video, that's why. Angelina focus um okay the reason why I like to do these after my powder is because of the fact that they are like very spreadable very thin and I like a little bit more of like a pigmented pop of blush in order to get like more pigment payoff from these I like to so sorry I mixed the pink and the and I'm just like spreading out on the back of my hand so I like to do it on powder because it will grab a bit more onto the pigment and it doesn't soak into my skin as fast and like sheared out. And also doing it on top of the highlighter helps blend the highlighter into the skin and make it look a little bit more natural. So I'm just going to tap this. Kind of on the apples but like from my pupils up. And then I used my middle finger to place it, and now I'm going to use my pointer finger to kind of blend out the edges. And then tap over the top. And then I'm going to take a little bit more and place just tiny little dots just underneath the high point of my cheekbone. And I'm just kind of tapping it out with little tiny dragging motions. And up. And then for my brows, what I've been doing lately is mixing my Physician's Formula Brow Last and the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. I'm going to start by just like brushing my brows up. And I know I have really long brow hairs, don't at me. I kind of just paint this on, but like I wipe off the excess on the top because it's kind of goopy. Anyway, so I paint this on. And then I just take the other side of the brush and do my other brows. I don't dip back in or anything because this stuff little goes a long ways. And then I just lightly do little tiny brush strokes and brush it out to kind of evenly coat it in the brow hairs. And then I go through with the ColourPop one. Oh, I can't open it. And this one, oh man. So the wand comes out like heavily coated. The um, little stopper thing doesn't uh, work very well in my opinion. So I always like scrape it off because this is white. If you get too much in your brows, it'll make you look like you have like dandruffy brows, which you, nobody wants, I don't think. And I just go through and I start by, you'll can you see the white chunks? Anyway. You have to like work them through your brow. So I just go through and I put this in first and then I later take a spoolie and like brush it out. And then I take a, uh, this is on the other end of an eyebrow pencil, but like you could just use any spoolie. Um, <laughs> and I go through and brush out that gel. Sorry, you can't really see what I'm doing. I like need to figure out my setup. Does anybody else have an eyebrow that they just like I'm sure everybody does, but an eyebrow that they like more. 
I like this one. I just think this one looks like so much better. This one is like weird. It's like the evil sister. Okay, and then for my eyes, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild uh, eyeshadow quad. This one is Walking on Eggshells. And I'm going to put this pink shade all over my lid with a flat laydown brush. And I'm just using this dry because I want it to be kind of like a sheer wash of color. And then I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush. This is the ColourPop E2 and this uh, transition shade and put that into my crease. Next I'm going to take a flat top blending brush. This is the ColourPop E1 and I'm going to put that pink shimmer that I put on my lid underneath my eye. Just to give a tiny bit, oh it's fluffy, of dimension. And then we're going to put that transition color right on top. And then I'm going to use my pinky and the highlight shade in my Naked Skin Shapeshifter palette. I'm going to put that into my inner corner. And then I'm going to set my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I was lucky enough that my mom doesn't use this, so she gave it to me. I'm going to put on a light coat of mascara. I've been hating wearing mascara lately. Um, so I'm going to use the Maybelline Total Temptation because this one is mostly dried out. Um, and shouldn't really do too much to my lashes. Oh, there's a fuzzy in it. But I'm going to just do enough to coat my lashes, but like not really do much more than that. I'm going to put a tiny bit on my lower lash line. Oh. <sighs> For my lips, I'm going to use the um, Sephora brand Rouge Lip Tint, and this is in 01 Rose. This stuff is amazing. Like, nobody really talks about it, but it's so good. It's so comfortable. It's not drying. Well, this one isn't. I also have the red one, and that one is kind of drying, so maybe it depends on the shade. I'm just going to do a separate review on it, but I'll tell you right now, sneak peek, I love this one. And I'm using uh, this lip tint instead of like a liquid lipstick or you know, like a normal lipstick because it's a sheer wash of color and it stains my lips so I don't really have to worry about my lips looking cracky or dry or like having weird patches missing. That's kind of why I've been really liking this because it's so natural but it does give you just a little bit of like something. Alright you guys, so that was the tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're headed out, then I hope you have a fantastic interview. Break a leg if you're going to an interview. If you want to hear some tips, then those are coming right up. These are tips, I guess, for people with anxiety, but they're just general good tips, I guess. So my first tip is get wherever you're going early. Like that is the most important thing, I think, because for me, the last thing I want is to be like rushing and maybe late and not know where I'm going, maybe not know where to park, kind of figure it out so you're not stressed going into the interview so you can be calm, cool, and collected. Um, a next piece of advice is to keep you focused and like happy during the interview. For me, one of the most important things would be making sure that I am you know, not hungry, so eating a good balanced meal beforehand, kind of like if you're taking an exam, um, <laughs> that's kind of what in my mind it's like because the last thing I want, like I get really hangry and the last thing I would, would want is like going into an interview hungry and like being angry and being like, oh my gosh, I just want to get out of here, I just want to eat. So make sure that you're prepared. If you don't have time, like maybe you're rushing from school or another job to this interview, like have a snack in your purse or in your backpack if you're a guy like I, I don't know um, but make sure you have a snack <laughs> because like the last thing you would want is to be hungry or thirsty during your interview like yeah that's not good my third tip I guess would be to look up interview questions beforehand and don't just look at them and think of your answer actually practice responding with them so me and my dad the other day 
did if you have someone that you can practice with that's amazing so my dad would ask me questions and then we'd go over the responses and like I would repeat back what I would say and that really helped for my interview last week because when they asked me the question I was able to like just kind of think of it on the spot instead of having to think of my answer and be like oh uh, hang on while I think about it you know what I mean so it just kind of helps reduce your anxiety during the interview what else so another piece of advice is make sure you're comfortable. So like if you normally don't wear dresses, if you're a girl, then don't wear a dress to your interview. Wear like slacks and a nice shirt because um, you want to be comfortable and be yourself and not have to worry about what you're wearing or what people are going to think of what you're wearing. Like that is my biggest piece of advice because you want to be able to focus on the interview, on the interviewer and the questions and stuff like that not for me necessarily what i'm wearing what i look like um during the during the tutorial i talked about how for this lip color i like it because it's a stain i don't have to worry about if it's gonna like look gross or anything like that so yeah make sure you're comfortable in what you're wearing look presentable don't wear sweats to your interview but like be comfortable in what you're wearing and how you look and along the lines of that make sure you're wearing deodorant and brushing your teeth like i forget when i get really stressed about stuff like i'll be like thinking about the questions and making sure i eat and making sure my dog is let out before i go and like i just get kind of rushed and like i think one day i was going to drop off applications and i forgot to wear deodorant and i kid you not the entire time i was dropped i was like don't move your arms up, don't move your arms up, like, don't let them smell you, even though, like, I don't even think I smell, but, like, TMI, it's not fun, you're not thinking about, um, how to best present yourself, you're worried about if you smell or not, so, yeah, like, a simple tip, but kind of crucial, so, I think that's all the tips, like, the major ones that I can think of right now, if I think of any more, I'll leave them in the description box down below, but, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that some of these tips helped you with your interview if you have one and if you are going to an interview, maybe you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I just hope that it was helpful for someone out there. Um, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I know I already said this for the people that left earlier, but yeah, good luck on your interview if you have one. Break a leg, I don't know, is it bad luck to say good luck? Okay, anyway, leave a like subscribe I'll leave a little thing right here for you and then if you want to see more tutorials I'll leave my playlist right here for you so you can click on that and watch some more okay you guys thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video bye